In this presentation, we will set up a payroll item related to a dental insurance, dental insurance that will be paid after taxes so we can run payroll and see the effect on payroll as compared to payroll ran before we had dental insurance in the process within QuickBooks. Here we are. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. On the home page, we currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows, go into the view drop down and open windows list. We're now going to add a payroll item. To do so, we're going to go to the lists drop down and go to the payroll item list. Now, if you're in the manual version, you just want to practice around in the free manual version, you may want to go to the employees and just go through the full payroll process again, the payroll setup, because that'll give you more of an interview process. This is the paid version which will give us an interview process here. We're going to go to the payroll items drop up. We're going to have a new item that we will set up. We're going to use the easy setup and that'll hopefully help it out and make it easier. So we're going to say next and go to the insurance benefits. We're setting up insurance benefits next and that'll give us a little wizard that will set up for the insurance benefits. You can observe these benefits. Any of these are the ones, this is the place you go for these types of benefits. So you can take a look at this list. We're concentrating here on the dental insurance at this time. So we're going to add dental insurance. We're going to say next. Now we're going to say we have to determine whether or not the insurance is going to be uh, paid by the company pays for it or paid by the employee or uh, it's going to be employee pays for all of it. So part or all paid by the employee. In this case, we're going to just test out each of them and, and see what the effects will be on some of these different types of insurance. The first one we're going to just look at is let's say that it's uh, employee pays for it. And what that means is that if that were the case, that would mean that the employer is just basically doing putting them into possibly at a group, possibly getting a better rate uh, for the dental insurance and taking the payment directly out of the check and making the payment uh, directly out of the paycheck. So that's that's what would be happening. And we're going to say that the payment is, and then the question is, is the payment deducted for taxes? So in other words, is it going to be something that we're going to be able to reduce the gross pay for? And in this case, we're going to say that it's going to be after taxes. If the payment is deducted before taxes, it would have to be part of the section uh, 125 plan in, in order, and if it qualifies, then that would be more of a benefit, of course. So we're going to start off here with the payment is deducted after taxes and say, okay, next. And we have the vendor. I'm just going to call it the dental uh, vendor. This is who we, we would be paying. Once we take the money from the employee's paycheck, who are we going to give it to for the payment? We're not going to set up a schedule and next. So we'll finish this off and finish. And that will set up this payroll item. I'm going to maximize this screen again. And we should have an item now for dental insurance. So here it is. We've got dental insurance here. Uh, it's a deduction and the taxable insurance. Now we're going to go to our employee and add that for the employee. So we're going to go into the employee. We're going to go into the employee center. And we're going to say this is our new employee. We're going to say, hey, we got dental insurance. Would you like to take some dental insurance? And we're going to go into the, in the payroll info. And of course, um, our employee here is Anthony is very willing to, uh, in, to go into the dental insurance. So, okay. So we're going to the dental insurance here. We're going to say, add the dental insurance. And we're going to say that the item, the amount we're just going to say is, let's just say $20 for the dental insurance. These are obviously aren't real item numbers here. And so we're going to have that. And then we're just going to say, okay. And now we're, we're set up and now we'll run the payroll and see the effect of the dental insurance on the payroll. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.